There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat and we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Very much. <laughs> oh, how about that? Ready for the road again. Now, let me see. Where would two gentlemen of the road be most likely able to assuage the pangs of hunger with the least possible effort? I rather think that if we were to... Ladies and gents, well, now that's very interesting. There's something good going on around here. Cookies, delectable cakes and pies. And remember, all proceeds go to your favorite charity, so feel free to replace your friendly wages. Pretty soon an auction will be starting right down in that barn over there. You'll find marvelous tractors and farm equipment. And by the way, speaking of tractors, we've got a magnificent display of strength and power. Tractor versus two Clydesdale horses. Who will win? Feel free to place your friendly bets. These magnificent mammals versus the machinery of modern man. What will win? Two horsepower versus 200 horsepower. The tractor is pulling. The horses are straining. See their muscles straining. Which one will win? It looks, it looks to me like the horses have won the day. A triumph of true horsepower over 20th century. Yes, sir, that's what I call a bullet power. Now, who's going to open the bidding for these two genuine, full-blooded Clydesdale horses? You don't seem like this anymore, so step up and let me hear you sing out. Who's going to start the bidding at $500? Do I hear a five, 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 make it a five, 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 give me a five, who's going to be a $500 bid here? For $500, you can wrap it up and take it home in the back of your car. Who's going to be a $500 bid? $400, do I hear a $400 bid? $400, do I hear a $400, four, 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 Fifty dollars. Gentlemen, gentlemen, do you want these beautiful animals to be fertilizing your crops when they should be cultivating them? You better keep up with the time, Sam. Tractors only eat when they're working. A farmer go bankrupt trying to feed those elephants. Would they really kill them for a fertilizer, Miss Allen? Well, they will if Fred Rogers gets them. Those poor horses, it's a shame. Work hard all their lives and then get rewarded like this. I got a fifty dollar bid. Could you buy them, Miss Allen, and let us take care of them? We could use them for one of our 4-H projects. Please, 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 we can take care of them. Sixty dollars. Seventy. Eighty dollars. Ninety. I got a ninety dollar bid. Do I hear a hundred and five, hundred and five, hundred and five, 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 making a hundred and five. Who's getting a hundred and five dollar bid? Miss Allen, do I hear a hundred dollars for you? You'll hear it if I have it. <laughs> Oh, 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 why, look here. My friend found a dollar. <laughs> he must have dropped it while you were counting, ma'am. Thank you. One hundred and one dollars. That's my last bid, Sam. It's all I've got. One hundred and two. He's the meanest man in the world. <sighs> well, I tried. I got a hundred and two dollar bid. Do I hear a hundred and five dollar bid? Do I hear a hundred and five dollar bid? A hundred and two dollars going on. A hundred and two dollars going twice. A hundred and two dollars going to the... Just one moment, my good man. I will bid another fifty dollars to add to the bid of this good young lady, and uh, I will donate the horses to these kind-hearted children. <laughs> oh, you! Yes. You know what?
what I'm doing. That is very generous of you. Oh, not at all, ma'am. I've always been a supporter of good causes. <laughs> I got a hundred fifty-one dollar bid. I got a hundred fifty-one dollar bid. Do I hear hundred fifty-five? Hundred fifty-five. Do I hear hundred fifty-five? Not from me. Hundred fifty-one dollars going once. Hundred fifty-one dollars going twice. Hundred fifty-one dollars going to third and final time. Sold to Miss Allen for hundred fifty-one dollars. Now, if you do, we'll just step over here, please. We'll conclude this sale. Hundred one dollars to Miss Allen. Hey, fifty-one dollars to you, sir. 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 Due to circumstances beyond my immediate control, I find myself, just for the moment, temporarily, for the time being. You don't have any money. How did you figure you're going to pay for this? Why, with this strong back and these two work-worn hands? By the luck of this untidy place, wouldn't take long to work off a paltry fifty dollars. But my friend, it's strictly cash at this auction. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a change in the last auction. The two horses have been sold to the Edgemar Fertilizer Company for one hundred and two dollars. I'm sorry, Miss Allen. I'll pick them up in the morning, Sam. Come, children. Time to get into the bus. Come on now. Come on now, quickly. Bye. Come on. Oh, Miss Allen, are they really going to kill them? They've got as much right to live as anybody. Yes, of course they have, but there's nothing we can do about it, Jane. Now, come on, back into the bus. Back into the bus. I'm Bye. sorry, ma'am. Sorry. I want to thank you for what you tried to do. It was a fine gesture. Unless I miss my guess, you could use a meal and a place to stay. <laughs> you have an uncommonly perceptive mind, madam. Well, you and your dog just climb in and come with us. <laughs> He's not my dog, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your hospitality just as much as I shall. After you, my friend. Wasn't that good? Yeah, I haven't had such a delicious repast for a long, long time. <sighs> yeah. You still thinking about those beautiful horses, are you? I know. Much as work disagrees with me, I wish I could have done something to save them. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Well, well, well. Thank you very much. And good night to you. Now, if it does rain when your projects are through, I want you to stay in the camp until Nettie comes for you. You got that? Uh, there's no more beautiful sight in the world than a group of happy children. What? How did they get here? Was it you? Why, you old horse thief! <laughs> Congratulations. Why, Miss Allen and those children are going to be so happy that we got them a stay of execution. Only a temporary one is true, but still. But, oh, that's police. Hi, Sheriff. 
Hi, Miss Allen. What can I do for you? Well, a couple of those big horses are missing from the auction. And I was wondering whether I might have a word with that old man. Is he still around your place? Well, sure. Oh, if they find us for those horses, we're going to be in terrible trouble. At least I'm going to be in terrible trouble. They'll never believe you did it. Oh, Ben! What's going on? Well, the auctioneer said that he showed an awful interest in him. So I thought I might come over and talk to him about it. Oh, Ben, this is the Sheriff Johnson. This is Ben Smith. Oh, hi. Mr. Smith. Do you remember those uh, two big horses yesterday? Oh, yeah, those fine, beautiful creatures. Yeah, I guess they're just fertilizer by now. They were stolen last night. So, is that right? Why? I had the impression nobody really wanted them. The auctioneer said that, uh, that you showed quite an interest in them. Oh, now, sir, I resent your insinuation that I might conceivably be a collector of Clydesdale. Well, whoever collected them has my approval. And if you could have heard those children's prayers last night, Sheriff, you'd approve, too. <clears throat> I think we'd better take a look in that barn. Uh, oh, now, look, yeah, yeah. look I, I, I'm just going to check out this barn. I'm not jumping to any conclusions, Mr. Smith. I, think we get on a... I understand that. I understand it completely. Yes, sir. Good boy. You know, I could have swore that I heard a horse whinny in here, not a pony. Ah, uh, well, he's got a very deep voice for a little fella. And you? Good day, Miss Allen. I'll go fix your breakfast. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, I'll eat first and I'll figure things out later. Ooh. Ooh, there now. Thank you, man. Shall I put on another batch? Not just for a moment, but don't stray too far from the griddle. A man who eats well works well. Please, Miss Allen, don't use that sort of language. Miss Allen! What the hell are you doing here? I, I never got there!
some harness for them. We can't just tie the rope around their necks. Huh? Yeah, that might just do it. Here, come on. Start trying to rig something with these. Here, there's some rope. It's ready. Good, good. Now, let me have that. Oh, no, boy. Wait. Oh, that's it. Easy, Come on, Miss Allen. Yeah. Put the rope through here. Through the top. That's it. Come on, Bobby. Come on. It's gonna be okay. I am proud to present to you this bill of sale for these magnificent animals. 
who have earned a place in our community and in all our hearts. Thank you. H. Benjamin Smith. In appreciation of your part of the heroic rescue, I am happy to present to you this key to our fair city. And you will find that it will open every door. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I shall be happy to stay around here and uh, try it out. <laughs> hey, you see this, my friend? There is another member of the rescue party who deserves recognition. And to show him that he need wander no more, I am presenting him with this beautiful collar. Here you are. Why, where is your friend? I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, but I rather think he's gone to catch a train. Bon voyage, dear friend. Maybe our paths will cross again one of these fine days. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Calvin, no! What's the matter? What's that all over your face? Oh my God, that meat was poison. I'm afraid to move him, Doctor. He's too weak and his temperature's too high. Can't you come here? It's no good. The Pottsville Bridge was burned up. Oh boy, I can swear you've done this before. So if you want to join me for a while, just grab your hat and we'll travel like let's go. Style. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow the whole world is my home